so isn't this like the coolest hoodie in the entire universe i know what is going on my digital escape my name is jaden whale and this week is addictions so i don't know if you knew but i knew that I am completely 100% freaking addicted to The Sims. I bet some of you knew that, yeah? <laughs> yeah, um, no, I don't think you actually understand. As much as I've already talked about it enough for you guys to know that I'm completely obsessed, you don't even know half of it. This shit is real. I haven't even given you a backstory. So I give to you story time with Jay Well. Yeah! The Sims and I, we go way back, like way back. Like dinosaurs roam the earth back. <laughs> We've been in each other's life so long, we're practically cousins. I first established The Sims in 2002. It was only a couple years after the first ever Sims game was released, and oh my god. I knew from the moment I installed that game that it was my own little apocalypse. My life, over. I had first come across it when I went over to a friend's house, and she was playing it. And I was literally mindful. Like, they had lives. You could build their house. They could burn down their freaking house with their amazing cooking skills. They got married, had kids, paid bills, ordered pizza. Yeah, the game had me at ordering pizza. That's because I'm hungry. Mm, but man, it was your own little world. And to me, that was so cool. Especially growing up being an unhappy kid, I wanted to escape. And this game allowed me to escape and be in my own little world. It made me so happy. So I spent my entire life on the game. It's funny how this game is all about controlling lives, yet it controls mine. Pfft. Now, when The Sims 2 was announced, Oh my god. I obsessed over it a year before it was actually released. So it was supposed to drop in February 2004, but they pushed it all the way back to September 2004. To be honest, I cried. I still cry about it to this day. Like I had counted down for months just waiting for February. Why would you do this to me? And if you're familiar with these games, the huge incredible difference between The Sims and The Sims 2, oh my god. this game was about to get a thousand times better. So I spent, and I kid you not, the entire summer of 2004 on The Sims 2 website, looking at videos, screenshots, and I even had a dedicated folder on my mom's computer for all the screenshots that I would find of The Sims 2, and I just continuously save them and save them and just look at them all the time. <sighs> oh wow, Beta J. Well, I even bought stacks of grid paper to draw out a bunch of house plans for all of the houses I was going to build. <laughs> that was literally my summer, no word of a lie, I did nothing else. <laughs> and when the game finally came out, I don't think I sat still for an entire week at school, just waiting for that due date. Like all of my friends knew when The Sims 2 was coming out because I would never let them forget. <laughs> Not even for a second. Oh my God, dude, two days, two. <laughs> and when that day finally came, I rushed off the bus and straight home to mom. I'm surprised I didn't break the front door and try to get in. I begged her. I sold my soul to her. Mommy, please, please, mommy. <laughs> I need it. And my mom, of all people, knew how important that day was to me. But of course, she's taking her sweet time, getting me to do a bunch of chores and all that fun stuff. And at last, she told me to go make my bed, and then we could go. So I rushed upstairs, I pull back my blanket, boom. My life, right there, The Sims 2, on my bed! I'm pretty sure the neighbors thought I was dying. But you know, I think my mom immediately regretted getting that game for me. Because I would stay up past 1 a.m. on a school night playing The Sims 2. Go to bed! Don't want to! <laughs> and I'm not even kidding, man. My addiction for this game is way past recovery at this point. It is gone. It is out of here. Like, I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself well enough. Do you not feel my addiction yet? It's running through my veins. Cause I can literally go on for days about how this obsession has gone through The Sims 3 and now The Sims 4. I really wish I had all my Sims games with me so I could show you how much of everything I have. I've collected every expansion pack for every generation of The Sims. I will tell you though, one of the many times that I played The Sims 3 for like 20 hours straight or some shit, I created a family and they had kids and then those kids had kids and those kids had kids and I built them all little houses and customized everything. And that's the longest I've ever played a family. Like usually I make a family and they have kids and then I get bored. But these guys, I had a family, they had kids, their kids had kids and their kids had kids and blah! Needless to say, I was attached to this family. Okay, but after playing for like 20 some hours straight, no sleep, stayed up all night, I was tired. <laughs> I really was. And so as I was saving the game, I closed my computer. Okay. And it dawned on me for a split second that maybe, just maybe, 
that was a bad idea. I was very, very sleepy, okay? But I passed the fuck out and forgot all about it. Until I started up the game the very next day to notice that the file was corrupted. No! Why? Why? There was no saving it. By closing my computer when it was saving, I fucked it. So, but <laughs> so I hope this gives you a better idea of how insanely in love with The Sims I am. And not to mention the fact I have a gaming channel where 98% of my videos are about The Sims. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> ah! So what are you guys addicted to? Please, please let me know that I'm not the only one who needs help. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't want to be saved. I don't want to be saved. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like to let me know that you did. Come bug me on my social media and we can be pitbulls. And um, yeah, I love you guys. Stay strong, stay beautiful, and I will see your beautiful face next Wednesday. All right, take care. Peace.